So today I'm going to discuss my opinion on seasonally adjusted solar panel racking and whether I think it's worth it. As you can see, I have two different types of solar panel racking. I have custom ones I made out of pressure treated wood, and I have a video on those on my channel of how I built them if you're interested. And these custom racks I built, I did not drill them into the ground with piers. They're just sitting there fixed on the ground, but I did make them where I could pick up the front edge, add a few blocks underneath them, to be able to seasonally adjust them if I wanted to. Now these other racks you see that I have here, they are called power racks. And I also have a couple videos on those on my channel as well if you're interested in checking those out. Now, as I mentioned, I built the custom wooden ones myself with the intention of being able to seasonally adjust them, especially in the winter time when the sun's lower in the sky and your solar availability is a lot less than say in the summertime. Well, now I have a year under my belt with this system and I've gone through all four seasons and I have not needed to seasonally adjust them or tilt them at all. Because I use the Solark 15K hybrid inverter, I can have a large solar array attached to it. My solar array is 19 kilowatts. When the sun is out, I can produce between 110 to about 115 kilowatts a day. To put that into perspective, the average home in the US uses about 20 to 30 kilowatt hours per day. So my 19 kilowatt solar array is producing about five times more energy than the average home in the US uses per day. Now my home isn't average though. I have a deep water well that has a pump down there that's 240 volts at 460 feet deep. And I also have another 240 volt pressure pump for that entire water system because I have five houses on my property that family members live in. And my solar array, my basically solar power system here powers all of the water for all of those five houses. So that's a lot of power additionally that I use that most houses don't. Due to the extra power I use, I use about 40 to 80 kilowatt hours of energy per day at my house. But on sunny days, I'm still producing two times the amount of solar power that I need to run my house. I also have a 30 kilowatt hour battery bank that gets fully charged by noon. But I definitely wanna add another 30 kilowatt hours of battery storage just to be able to make it through those a few day storms where there's really heavy cloud cover and rain where you don't produce much uh, solar power at all. Now, when I have those multiple day storms, I use the grid as my backup power. So that's how my system works. Basically, I am off grid as much as I can. And then if my batteries get to 20%, the Solark 15K inverter automatically tells my system to go back to the grid to use power from that until the sun comes back out again. And then it turns off the grid, shuts that off, and goes right back to producing the power from the solar panels and storing that and using that only. But I also do have a propane backup generator just in case my batteries do get down to 20% and the grid is down for some reason. Maybe there's a storm, something happened to the transformer, lightning strike, things of that nature. If you'd like to download a free PDF of my entire system, all the equipment I used, basically a wiring schematic, literally everything you need to know about installing the system I have, you can download that at solarpdfdownload.com. So when the sun is out, there's no need for me to try to squeeze out every last available watt out of these solar panels. Why? Because I'm producing so much during the day that it just doesn't matter. And again, that's because of how large my solar array is at 19 kilowatts. So because of how big my solar array is, there's really no need for me to seasonally adjust them. It's really just a waste of time. No matter where the sun is at in the sky, whether it's lower in the wintertime or higher in the summertime, it doesn't matter. I produce so much energy, seasonally adjusting it won't make any difference at all to me, so I haven't done it. So the next logical question to ask then, well, on cloudy days, would it make sense to have them seasonally adjusted to try to squeeze every last bit of power out of them to power your home and to keep from having to go back to your grid or whatever your backup power source is? And from my experience, the answer to that question is no. So when it's cloudy on a day like today, the light is more evenly distributed throughout the entire sky. It's not focused just on one area like it is when the sun is out. So no, seasonally adjusting it really doesn't make a difference. It won't really make any sizable difference at all to get more watts out of your solar panels when it's cloudy. I recently read about solar farms in Canada that have the automatic tracking systems installed. And what those do is those basically, they track the sun from the morning all the way all day until the evening and the panels change automatically to the exact right angle to maximize the solar power. But when the sun goes behind the clouds, those tracking systems automatically make the panels go horizontal to be able to get all the light dispersed across the whole sky. So even those are showing that when the sun's not out, you want to just be flat and have the entire exposure of the sky to the panel. 
So seasonally adjusted solar panel racks don't make sense to me because of how big of a solar array I can have plugged in to my Solark 15K inverter. But they could make sense to you. One of my subscribers emailed me recently that his city will not allow him to do any more than a 10 kilowatt solar array. And that, in my opinion, is just ridiculous. I don't know, I guess they don't want to see the roof so cluttered with solar panels. I'm not sure what the reason was, he didn't tell me. But oftentimes, getting any more than 10 kilowatts of solar panels on a roof is pretty much nearly impossible. It's just too tight of a squeeze unless you have a gigantic house. So maybe that city's just trying to discourage ground mount solar arrays? I don't know. But if you're not able to have a large solar array and you need to squeeze out every available watt out of your panels, then seasonally adjusted racks might make sense. My recommendation is to get as large a solar panel array as you can handle, which means get the largest inverter your budget can handle. You'll thank me on cloudy days when you're able to produce a lot more power than you otherwise would have with a smaller array. Hopefully this video has helped you in the planning of your solar project coming up. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks everyone.